Alright. Alright, I'm excited. Look at this. Look at this! This is not a travel in Colombia video. And this is not a nice new bag for Jason video. That is typical for the Highs with Love channel. I know this. But where else can I show this off? Like, not that many other people care about this stuff. So, in the World Wide Webs, you people out there, there's people that are interested in this thing. I know there's videos about this already, but this is my video about this thing, and I'm excited about it. So, I'm gonna unbox it here. People wanna watch it, they can watch it. They don't wanna watch it, I'm gonna skip it. It has nothing to do with the other content that I put up here. I know that. But, this is the Star Wars Luke Skywalker Black Series. So, Red 5 standing by, right? Wedge, where are you, Wedge? I can't see him! I see him! I'm gonna take him down the left side. You know, all these all these quotes go in your head. Um, just like Baker's Canyon back home. So, I got this from, well, I got this from, first I got it from Amazon, and they had it for, oh gosh, it was 90 bucks. So, retail, first I, I was in New York and I saw this at the New York Disney store in Times Square. They were very pumped up about it, trying to get me to buy it. I said, no, I'm gonna do my due diligence. I'm gonna see how much it is other places. And of course it was slightly cheaper on Amazon. It was 90 bucks on Amazon because they had a coupon and it could get shipped to my home. I wouldn't have to carry it with me. So I bought it on Amazon. Then continued to do dil due diligence and I found it on t at Target for even less. So I, I I ended up getting it at Target for I think 75 bucks. How can you not, how do, how do you say no to that? It's Luke Skywalker. I don't even like, so I, I'm more of a Darth Vader fan. I do have a Darth Vader helmet. But anyway, let's open this thing up. And let's see what's in here. It's, it's an okay box. It's not like super nice, super, super nice. It, this is something that you would open up and, and mess with. Nothing that's going to be like a collector quality in years and years. So, simple box packaging. Not even any styrofoam in here, just a plastic bag. And cardboard. This piece of this piece of paper. No, it's not even paper. It's a piece of cardboard. All right. There's nothing in there. <laughs> I almost hit her in the head. All right. So this thing. I love throwing shit off screen. This seems very carefree to me, even though I have to clean it up later. All right, here we go. This is it. Look at look at in there. It's actually it's actually light. I mean, it kind of kind of looks like it's supposed to be carbon fiber even in there. You see that? And then. Remember, remember this thing, like, it made it seem like Porkins couldn't see very well. Remember Porkins? Porkins? I'm right with you, Red Street. Porkins dies. Um, but his, 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 he was like acting like he couldn't see out of his visor. So you always, you always wanted to see what it was like. This is it. Porkins! Porkins, you're no good to me. No, that was Wedge. Wedge was no good to me. Get out of here. So here's the, the markings on the side. You know, it's supposed to look like it's dinged up a bit. Little scratches there. Which is kind of fake, because if you think about it, this was Luke's first time with the Rebels. How did he know how to fly an X-Wing fighter, right? Is he doing like simulations? Or where, where is he learning how to fly a, 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 a super high-end 
interceptor type of uh, a fighter and and where did he get this so this is like he borrowed this used i guess it was someone else's that got all beat up wonder what happened to that guy anyway so that's that's that and then some padding in here I just tear it yeah I'll just tear it open okay here's the instructions here's the padding I guess yeah so within here there's padding velcro for the padding there's these little these bits right here they're not even that touchy-feely all right here's the fake microphone that people comment about it's on this bendy wire so it looks it looks cool but there's no speakers here in there which would be kind of cool like everybody talks about it be it would have been kind of cool to have this function uh function as like a bluetooth headset and we could walk around listening and talking on our phones with this thing on super geeks right all right this just flops in here Leslie. yep ears in there honestly it really does look like I remember looking at the padding inside like you could see it when in the movie and you can see the padding and it kind of looks like that right remember that's what it looks like and then the chin strap let's see so this Elastic, elastic chin strap. It's very simple, flimsy elastic that you could get at the the uh, fabric store or whatever craft store. That's nothing fancy. And there's a little button in there that this snaps into. The other side must do it too. So, the helmet strip, so that's kind of weird. So you can't unsnap it easily, to like to take it on and off. It's just a little elastic thing that you're, you're, I don't know. I haven't tried it on yet, I will. But, gotta figure out how the batteries go in. Hold on one sec. So, three triple A's go in there. I always use rechargeable, right? I feel like it saves the planet something, hopefully. Let me designator how these things go in there. Not really. So, I'm gonna guess. Because usually the springy side goes on the flat side of the battery and then this one would go on the that pointy part of the battery, right? Something like that. And then, get back in there. Yep. It works. It works. So I'll just screw this back in here. All right, so I screwed that back in, one screw, and then this plastic bit will go back on there like that. And then Velcro's not super strong, obviously. All right. Well, 
I'm gonna take off my glasses for it. I'm gonna take off the glasses for it. I wonder if it's set on Hoth or Yavin. Red 5 standing by. There's a button right here. So I hear like R2D2 and then just some noises. It's going. <laughs> Ah, it's not that they don't have the voices. There's nobody's voice. I need to hear Luke, use the false or um, what does Han Solo say? Let's blow this thing and go home. You know that that kind of stuff. Or stay on target. That's that. That's the Y-wing fighter guy. I believe he dies. Yeah, he dies, but he's like. The guy that goes, stay on target. Switching to targeting. Okay, so red leader, this is gold leader. We're starting our attack run. He just said that right now. He's the guy. He's the guy that dies. He's the guy that goes, switching to targeting computer. Like he's very technical about it. Stark contrast to Luke Skywalker, who just turns off his computer. And they go, Luke, you've turned off your computer. What's wrong? And he goes, nothing's wrong. I'm fine. And he blows the whole thing up with Han's help, right? Because Darth Vader would have got him. Just reliving the whole thing right now. So it's actually pretty long. He's, I just heard someone say, it's a heavy fire zone. And then there's more sounds of wishing by. This is long. Like what are you, what are they imagining people are doing? Just sitting here like me, imagining in their heads? They're just random noises. Nothing that really sounds like it's from the actual movie. Yeah, I'm just hearing random noises right now. And some roaring noise. Random R2-D2 unit. Like this alarming sound. I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be some more voices. I mean... Ah, he just repeated himself. Red leader, there's a skull leader, we're starting our tire. So there's no Luke, there's no Han, there's no Vader, there's no Obi-Wan. What are... All wings... All... Oh, they're doing the thing where they... Red 2, standing by. They didn't do Red 5, standing by, though. Squad leader, we picked up a new group of signals. Enemy fighters coming your way. Remember that? Oh, then there's some flashing lights right now. It's a heavy fire zone on this side. Red five, where? I'll, I'll, I'll just put all the sounds in. There it is. There's Obi Wan. Luke, the force is with you. There it was, Han. That's what I was listening. You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. That was it. That's what I was waiting for. Great shot. It was one in a million. That made it all worth it. Just just hearing Han was enough. All right, that's enough. Okay, so, can't wear it with my glasses, too tight, unless, I guess if I took out the cushions. I think there's, 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 there's plenty of other videos that have shown what it looks like inside the helmet, but let's just do it. All wings report in. Red three standing by. Red six standing by. Red two standing by. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, two's hit. Nope. The boss will be with you. You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. Alright, so it looks like it goes through <clears throat> it goes through like kind of the beginning of the battle when people are checking in. Uh, red leader, this is uh, gold leader, we're all here, and then uh, red five standing by. Well, actually, he never says red five standing by. And then it takes. Oh, Obi Wan just said trust your feelings. He hadn't said that before. Uh, so, and then it takes you through. Um, Use the Force, Luke. Then it takes you through Han Solo, you know, knocking Darth Vader away and saying, you're all clear, clear. Then he blows up the Death Star and you can hear the explosion and Han Solo says, that was one in a million. And then at just this, this was the first time I heard Obi-Wan say, um, use the Force, Luke. Because the first time he just said, the Force is with you. I think I've heard everything then. No, no, definitely no Vader. It would have been cool if he said, I have you now, but no such, no such like, and I guess it wouldn't be realistic because Luke never heard that in his helmet anyway. Anyway, okay. <laughs> definitely an impulse buy, definitely something that someone my age would like. I'm not sure like the kids nowadays would get it. They wouldn't, like, they don't, they don't watch, they didn't watch A New Hope a zillion times like I did um, and so yeah I, I don't know if it's gonna have that same feel but for, pe for people my age it's a no-brainer I mean at, at our age we have the disposable income to buy something like this now and relive some childhood memories I think it was well done thank you Hasbro thank you black series thank you Disney it's about time May the force be with you.